We gotta go get her. Yeah, that one woke me up. Woke me up pretty good. A little bit more serious of a fish. River Rats, after a bunch of driving and a bunch of catching bait, I finally arrived at a new stretch of river at a, a time of year I've never fished it with a couple days to figure it out because we got a tournament coming up. So let's go. Rods are rigged. The more I look at this spot, the more I really, really like it. I mean, who knows if it'll mount to anything, but we're gonna give it some time, mainly because, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty hungry and I wanna cook food. We got some good bait. I don't know, I'm kinda excited. Big thank you to Mr. Chesthead. He's an avid watcher on the channel, avid commenter. And uh, he super chatted me some money and said, Use it for the cutting board. Well, here's the cutting board, and it is pretty darn awesome. I almost feel too fancy. Yeah, but big thanks, man. I appreciate the heck out of it. As far as the fishing goes, we are in the in-between phase. It's like 60 degree water temps. I'm not sure if we should be bumping. Not sure if we should be anchoring. So we're gonna try both. There's a few out there. This crisscrossy current's like messing with my proprioception. I think that's a word. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's a word. Got current going, main current going this way, this current going this way, and then this current going this way. Weird things are happening. That one's 108. Probably gonna be about 100 by the time we reel her down. Yep. Did I mention I'm excited? I've never fished this river this time of year. And I kind of like new stuff, new adventure, new places, new patterns, new fish. Especially if they have whiskers. Especially if they're 100 pounds. That would be sweet. Okay, got that one out a little bit further. Not a lot further. The level wind is off because uh, I just re-rigged them and such. All right, we are officially fishing and I'm, I think I'm, we need to be officially eating or cooking. So if you're not officially cooking, then not gonna be officially eating. Let me get that set up. Okay, we have fire. Trying the old cast iron today. The, uh, the stainless is kind of trashed, so ooh, I should probably move gasoline away from that. I don't see any problems, but I don't want to create any either. Ex excited as I am to fish, I'm also excited to eat these guys. Courtesy of Costco. 20 pieces. I'm sure that they're intended to uh, be grilled, but microwave, not recommended. Okay. Well, I don't think I should need any grease or oil with the bacon and whatnot. I think I'm using the skillet outside. She is uh, smoky. Let's say they're ready to get the party started. We're gonna find out. They sizzle. I don't think these were intended to be cooked on a skillet, but we're gonna make do. It's a wonderful sound. Hmm. Maybe I should cover them with tin foil. It's not like the worst idea I've ever had in my life. 
think I have tin foil. Definitely gonna need these guys. I'm not seeing any tin foil, but I do have a wind cup flapper. Let me try that. I mean, there's potential there. This no wind sure does make cooking a lot easier. Is he big? There we go. Well, the, the food is cooking. Oh, I popped off. He ran up with it, which is weird. It was on a rattle. Just looked over and it was bouncing. Big fish usually don't bounce. There's bite marks on it. But well, hey, that's something. Try this again, I guess. I blame the distraction of the jalapeno poppers. I mean, hopefully nobody can blame me on that. One spot, one bite. Okay. Well, round one is complete. They definitely don't look as good as if they would have came off a grill, but the bottom looks pretty good. Ooh, that's hot. I'm gonna let them cool down for a minute as hard as that is. Wow, he pounded it. Well, at least he waited for the first round to be finished. I just heard drag ripping, which is a wonderful sound. Apparently he was excited. I don't think he's huge. I want to see him. It's moving pretty easy there, and he's squirrely, but I still want to see him. Oh yeah, he ain't bad. He ain't bad at all. We'll take him on tournament day. It's good to know we have somewhat of a, I mean, one fish doesn't make a pattern, but we're on the way. Sweet. Yeah, he's, he's growing. He was at, ooh, he's barely hooked. Okay. Come here, buddy. Oh, great. Come on over. There we go. We got him. He is ours. Sweet. Took him a minute, but... He showed up. Glad I stuck around a little longer to cook because uh, lots of times I wouldn't have caught that fish. I just realized my other camera wasn't on. That's embarrassing. Didn't even get to eat a jalapeno popper and we're on the board. Uh, I, I like that. He's a, uh, we gotta get five. If we get five of these, we're gonna do pretty good. But in the meantime, they sure are fun. And I'm going to mark this spot. And odds are we're going to come back and fish it. Hopefully we catch him and all his buddies. That was fun. Au revoir, friend. I think I will celebrate with a jalapeno popper. That's cooled down to... Uh, one step below lava hotness. Pretty good. Mm. These are awesome. It might be the, the backdrop that makes them taste really good, or at least better. I think they'd be good either way, but the scenery and the ambiance makes them taste even better. All right, time for another one. He's still on there. I'm getting impatient with him. I don't know what is going on. Well, he ain't setting any world records. I think he was probably on there the whole time. Oh, it's a sturgeon. That's pretty darn cool. Can I get you in the boat? Yes, I can. 
and he snagged in the side. Didn't expect you. Oh, you are pokey. Um, huh. Yeah, that's, uh, I believe that's shovel nose sturgeon. I'm not a sturgeonologist by any means, but I do know that was a neat catch. Totally unexpected. You never know what's swimming around out here. I think they have a lake sturgeon in here too. Gnarly spines on them. Yes, they are. Ooh, that's really sharp. I'm not gonna play with them. I think I will just, just let you go. See ya. Neato. Well, overall I'd call it a win, uh, especially considering the spot that I just picked on a whim and because it looked decent and I wanted to cook food. But we're gonna go uh, try some bumping, I think. It's a little chillier than I like for bumping, but you know, we're gonna camp down river, so we might as well fish on our way down river. At least that's my idea behind it. This looks pretty interesting, at least from a bumping standpoint. I don't have a ton of confidence in bumping this time of year, but it's because I haven't had much success bumping this time of year, and we'll, we're gonna give it a rip. I don't know. If I'm gonna catch them, this bend looks like a good place to catch them. You know, plus worst case scenario, at least I get some bump in practice. So it's not something you just roll out of bed and do amazing at. At least mere mortals like myself, if you're, you're in that class, then nice. Okay, I do need a sinker. I think we'll start with a four, because I'm out of practice, like I said. Half of it's just being able to run the trolling motor appropriately. Running a trolling motor while bumping to me is reminiscent of backing a boat trailer down. So you get like, you gotta steer right to go left and left to go right. Definitely takes a little practice. We are not moving very fast. Need to slow my roll. Bumping is a funny thing back bouncing, whatever you want to call it. It's fun, especially when it works. I'm gonna bump this entire bend and we're gonna go look for a spot to camp. Well, nothing bumping, but I do see a spot I wanna anchor on. So I think we're gonna to try to anchor on it. I think we are. I mean, we definitely are. Well, as much as I like the looks of this spot before, I just cruised through here and I marked a couple whales on the sonar. You never know if they're going to eat. The only thing I can control is if I fish them. And that's kind of a no-brainer. They are exactly, well, exactly. They're 115 feet away right now. The whales were not hungry. Got about a 20 to 25 minute boat ride down to the spot that I want to camp at. Or we could just stay here next to the whales. I don't know, we'll come back and get them later. And I kind of want to see the river, the rest of the river. At least at a glance before we really pick it apart tomorrow. All right, let's get rolling. Well, this is a pretty unique spot. Definitely wasn't gonna camp here, wasn't gonna fish here, because I didn't know it existed. But now that I do, it's hard for me to not want to fish here, at least for a minute. If we catch a fish here, I'm camping here. 
if we don't catch a fish here, I still might camp here. Yeah, I guess, guess we'll see what happens. Kind of leaning towards camping here. Let's see if the sand's sinking. Well, does not appear to be quicksand. Oh, this is a really cool spot. Wouldn't be a cool spot if the river came up. This might be like the biggest sandbar I've ever camped on. Yeah, I pretty much decided I'm gonna camp here. It's not where I was planning, but it's getting dark. We need some firewood. I think this will work. Can I get it to move? Sweet. One tree, all the firewood I need. Got me a little saw. Just chuck this bad boy up and we'll be good to go. That's actually kind of sweet. There was one little log out here, but other than that, it's pretty snag free, which is comforting if a big dog does run up here at night. As much as I'd love to uh, do well in the tournament, I'd also love to do well before the tournament. I don't see this as a super productive daytime spot, but you never know what'll run up on one of these sand flats at night. And on this river, you never know what even is in it. Got a full moon. Flatheads generally don't like the full moon, but I've had some success for blues and channels on a full moon. We appear to have a little fella. Well, that's encouraging. I think he's giving it all he's got. No, oh, he dropped it there. Solid four pounder, maybe five. But his life, there's a pile of fish on the fish finder. Most of them were not catfish, but this looks like a pretty catfishy type spot. Whew. I think I have a lighter. Hey, I got a lighter. It's one nice thing about having some good fire starters is you don't have to worry about tinder too much. Got this big pile of logs right here and shouldn't have any issues getting them to light up. Shouldn't. Oh, there's a nibble. I got a... Got the drags backed off, clickers on, so if a good good cat hits it, takes it, pulls rod down, I should be able to hear it. But we're gonna get us some fire going. Stick there. Once we get the fire lit, then I'll start putting camp together. Probably, I might just relax. Yeah, if you want fire starters that are legit, I'll link these ones in the description. Hopefully I'll see you in a little bit when something cool happens. We got some live action. He's not a world beater, but he is a catfish. Is he over the top of this one? Yeah, there he is. Hopefully he's got the hook good. He interrupted the tent setup, but that's all right. It's about the most ideal interruption a guy could ask for. He's roly poly. Was that fresh? Oh. Light went out. That was that fresh bait. I should probably freshen them all up. I think I will once the. Uh, once I get my tent set up. Where's he at? That was that one I casted a pretty good long ways. Oh, he's better than I thought he was. Pleasant surprise. Rattle strikes twice. Uh, he's hooked marginal. 
We'll actually net them just so we can get a better look at them. Come here. Wonder if this sandbar would play out during the day. I mean, it took a while to get that bite, so it's not like gangbuster spot. But there are fish moving up here, at least a fish. We are on the board twice. This, ugh, he's a jerk. This fish probably or isn't going to help me much with the tournament, but I like catching fish, so definitely still win. I don't know. I, I still have kind of high hopes for this spot, but I also had high hopes for that last spot that we caught nothing at. So there's that. Now oh, we're getting another bite. I'm going to put him back. See it, buddy. Just nibble. I just looked over and something weird was happening. I think we have a fish. I don't think he's very big. Or at least not, well, there's some weight. He didn't pull any drag off though. So I don't think he's our 100 pounder. This feels weird. That's all I can tell you right now. Things are odd. He just a little fella wrapped up in it, I think. We gonna dub? Pop the clicker. Nope, no dub. Okay. Let's deal with this tangled up fella. Come here. Oh, he's not even hooked. I don't think. He's like lassoed. All right, come here. Yeah, he's not hooked at all. <laughs> Weird. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a fish. Be my eater. Might keep one tomorrow. Fry me one up. We'll see. Odds are <laughs> I'm going to be eating one. It was your lucky day. See ya. Huh, weird. You know, what's funny is I feel like I'm going to find a pretty good pattern. And then we're going to get rain tomorrow night and everything's going to change. Such is the life of tournament fishing. Well, it's definitely a nice relaxing evening sitting by the campfire. I do appreciate the interjunction of the fish here and there. Hoping for a big dog. I dream about a hundred pounder all the time. For whatever reason, this feels like a spot might happen, at least at night. It's probably not during the day, but you never know what might slide up here once the sun goes down. We gotta go get her. Yeah, that one woke me up. Woke me up pretty good. A little bit more serious of a fish. I was acting all wore out. He's swimming at me. Is he small? Ooh, there he wakes up a little bit. Ooh, there he wakes up a little bit more. Oh, there he wakes up a whole lot more. Oh. Now he's really waking up. 
Oh, I actually kind of really want to see you. are you? Hmm, there's a whole lot of water moving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're a lot bigger than I thought you would be. Sweet. Oh, wow. Come here, buddy. Where are you at? Yeah, he just kind of came right in. Now he isn't coming right in. Wow. Big dog. Come here. There we go. Gotcha. Oh, you're real big. How big? I'm not sure yet. We'll leave it. Evaluate here in a second. <laughs> not easy to get in the boat. Big, big dog. Oh, I'm glad I decided to fish this spot. Whew. This is a serious one. I'm gonna be all slimy now, and I don't even care. Come here. Stop it. You're big enough, you're gonna Beat me up. <laughs> oh, man. Ugh. <laughs> That's a monster. I knew he was nice, but I didn't think he was quite this nice. It's a big one. We need this one on tournament day. And if we don't get them on tournament day, that's okay, because we got them today or tonight. You know, whatever. Details. But I got to catch a giant. I'm gonna let him go. Oh. Okay. All right, dude. Oh, we better put the grill loop the grip for this fish. Wouldn't want them swimming away with them grippies. I'd feel pretty bad. Ow. I am awake. I need to hit the weights a little harder apparently. What a stud. Yeah. That's a big dog. That was freaking awesome. I'm sorry if I sounded like a moron with that fish, but I'm kind of kind of not very smart to begin with. It, big fish make me dumb. And big fish in the middle of the night make me even more dumb. I am definitely I'm gonna go back to bed and hopefully get less dumb. <clears throat> well, 
Well, good morning. Mm. It's moist. Or you could just say it's dewy. You know. Whatever. Whatever you're feeling. If we got another fish, I slept through it. It's kind of fun sometimes. You wake up. You might even have one on the end of your line. <sighs> uh, doesn't look like it. That's all right. It's heard a turkey gobble. There's freaking turkeys on the sandbar. One strutting. That's really funny. I come down here with a turkey tag next time. <laughs> we got something on here. Looks like another sturge. It's because it is another sturge. Well, I'll be. It's also interesting how the sturge seemed to prefer the double hook rig. Oh, your spiny little a-hole. Every time he wiggles, it hurts. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hang him over the edge and pop him off. See it. So that way I don't cut up my hand any more than I already have. Huh, two sturge one day. Neat. Okay, let's see if this thing will start. We're gonna get the boat juiced up. Fun. Alive. Let's get some juice. Uh, plug in. Where you plug in? Huh. The lights are not turning on. Oh yeah, it's charging. It was just so dusty I couldn't tell. <laughs> I need to clean my boat. Well, River Rats, there's uh, more fish to catch and more adventure to be had, but I think I'm going to leave you with the soft, subtle sounds of the generator and river industry and wrap this video up. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Really appreciate you taking time to watch. Hope you catch a giant.